Hey YouTube, welcome back to Thinking of Pi. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at shift registers. Shift registers are important because they allow you to multiply the outputs of your Raspberry Pi. We all know that the Raspberry Pi has a very limited number of outputs, but with shift registers, you can actually expand the number of outputs to an infinite number. Today, we'll just be using one shift register to control eight outputs, but we'll only be using three pins on the Raspberry Pi. Let's go take a look at the circuit, and I'll talk a little bit more about how these things work. All right, so this might look more complicated than it actually is. We've got our LED bar graph here. You might remember that from a previous video way back when. We've got our shift register here in the middle, and these three wires right here, green, yellow, and blue, are the ones that control the shift register, which will in turn control our LEDs over here. This is a shift register. It might be kind of hard to see on the camera, but if you look really closely at this end, there's a little notch, and that notch actually orients the, the component. So we know that this side is up. Now the pins are labeled uh, one through eight on this side, and then eight through 16 on this side. Pin 16 is going to be our, our voltage supply, and we've got pin eight being the ground. Now, pin 14 is the data input. The Raspberry Pi is going to send a binary code into the data input pin 14 and then the clock pin which is number 11 is going to send that data to the register and when we've got all of the data shifted into the register we'll raise pin 12 which will latch it to the output or it's going to open the gate so to say and it's going to send that data to the output and these LEDs are going to light up in a particular order. We're just gonna have a bar flowing back and forth like we did in the previous one. We're just gonna be doing it with less GPIOs. So let's head over to the computer. I'll show you the code and we'll make it work. All right, so here's the code. Um, we've got these two variables here at the beginning. They're really just um, control variables. They don't, it's not actually the data that we're going to be shifting, but they're just there for control, which you'll see in a second here. We want to define our pins on the shift register. We've got our data pin, latch, and clock. And we want to make sure that all of those are set to a low output. This function right here is the shift out function. This is what's actually going to be sending data to the shift register. And right down in here is what I want to talk about. We have our bit of data. It's really just a one. And we're going to make sure the latch pin is set to low. Otherwise, we'll be shifting a zero to the register. Then we'll actually shift out the data from the data pin, clock it, and make sure we're going in the right direction. And the actual bit of data is the X right here. And then what it's going to do is count up to eight and pause at the end. Then we're going to go in the reverse direction, starting at 8, and doing the same thing. Set the latch pin to low, and then we'll be taking the data pin, clocking it, and latching it out, counting backwards, and then pausing at the end. So let's go ahead and run this. There it goes. And you can see it just moving back and forth there, just like it did before, but a lot easier this time because it's using um, less GPIO pins. So it's more efficient. You've got more pins available to do other things with. Now the shift register does only have eight outputs. The LED bar graph has 10 LEDs, so not able to do all of them. But in a future video, I will be showing how to stack shift registers so that you can have that infinite number of outputs that I talked about earlier. 
I'll be doing a few more videos like this with the shift register showing some different different uh, applications with it. But next week, I'm going to take a break from the shift register and I'll be showing you how to control Christmas lights with your Raspberry Pi and some relays and it should be a good time. So make sure you tune in next week. But until then, um, I'd love to read your comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you all next week. Thanks.